All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to talk to you about the annihilator of a subspace, which sounds so cool. And that is actually really cool. And today I'll just give you some generalities. And next time I'll show you a really cool consequence on this because it turns out with those annihilators, we can show that uh, the rank of a linear, uh, the rank of a matrix equals the rank of the matrix transpose using very easy uh, tools. So what is the annihilator? It has to do with uh, dual spaces. So let me remind you what a dual space is. V star, it's a set of linear transformations from V to a field. And in particular, suppose you have a subspace of V. And in fact, any subset would work. So suppose you have a subset, subspace W of V, then what is the annihilator? And that's called W naught. It's just a set of functions in V star that are zero in V, in W which literally annihilate your W. So F of W equals zero for all W in W. So if you want, if, let's say sort of a profile picture of the annihilator, if this whole thing is V and this is W, a subset, then annihilators, they always looked as follows. It might be zero or non-zero here, but they're definitely zero here. So that's F in W naught. And again, could look differently as well, you know, it could, uh, could look bumpy and then zero, and it's just what for sure is that here it's zero. It could also look like that. Anyway, so literally like something that annihilates your space. So that's really cool. But I have to warn you, uh, be careful, those are technically not elements in W, those are functionals in W star. And Couple of things, again, just a couple of generalities today. Namely, first of all, it turns out W naught, it's a subspace not of W, but of V star. Of V star. And for example, let me show that it's closed under addition. So if F and G are in W naught, and W is an arbitrary vector in W, then let's calculate F plus G of W. Well, that's F of W plus G of W. But you see, by assumption, F and G are zero on W. So this is zero, and this is zero. So we get that this is zero. In particular, F plus G is also zero on our subspace. So F plus G equals zero on W, but it's precisely the definition of being in the annihilator. So that's one very cute fact. And what's even cooler, I think, because technically W naught, that's in in the dual space, which technically has nothing to do with V itself. But it turns out, if you add the dimension of W and the dimension of W naught, you actually get the dimension of V, which is kind of a rank nullity theorem kind of thing. So let's show the following, and that, I think that will be it for today. And again, at least in the finite dimensional set case, I'm not sure about the infinite dimensions. So in other words, you can think of it, you know, as like dimension of image plus dimension of kind of null space equals dimension of V. So it's very rank nullity theorem E. And how can we do this? It's a super neat proof, so. Uh, because it just uses all the tools in linear algebra. So suppose we have a basis of W. So suppose this is W, and we have a basis V1 up to VK. So let 
v1 up to vk be a basis for w. So in other words, the dimension of w in this case is k. So in other words, k is a dimension of w, which we'll need. And then remember any basis of a subspace, you can extend it to a basis of the whole space. So extend to a basis. D1 dot 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 VK, VK plus one dot 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 up to VN of V. Where here the dimension of V is N. So we have those K initial vectors and we extend it to uh, all the space. Vk plus 1, dot, 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 up to the end. Okay, that's good. So that's on the V side or the W side. Now we want to talk about the, uh, what's called, the dual space side. And I would like to remind you, if you have a basis, then you can construct what's called the dual basis. So let beta star, sorry, the beta star, be F1 up to Fn, be the dual basis. Of uh, beta. And what does that mean? It simply functions, so D1 up to Vn, functions Fi, such that Fi is one here and then zero everywhere else. In other words, fi of vj equals 1 if j equals i, and 0 otherwise, so if j is not equal i. So if the indices match, it's 1, else it's 0. And so let's see what those uh, fi's do to your vectors. So how can I say this? Um, Oh yeah, okay. Here's my claim. I'm claiming that, well, first of all, what do we want to show? So remember, we want to show that the dimension of W plus the dimension of W naught equals to the dimension of V. But we just said the dimension of W is K plus the dimension of W naught equals to dimension of v, which is n. So ideally, we want to show that the dimension of w naught, it's n minus k. But notice, in this set, we precisely have an interesting subset of n minus k vectors, namely this. And ideally, we would like to say vk plus 1 up to vn is a basis of w naught. But that doesn't really make sense because we need functionals. We need elements in V star to have a basis of something. And in fact, I'm claiming that the functionals fk plus one up to fn is a basis for W naught. So claim fk plus one dot 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 up to fn is a basis of W naught. Once we have that, we're actually done precisely because of this. Uh, so corollary, what we get then, what we get is the dimension of W naught is equal to the number of elements in that basis, which is N minus K, but we just said n was a dimension of v, k was a dimension of w, and then we're done. Then the dimension of w plus the dimension of w naught equals dimension of v. So let's just show this, and in fact, it's not too bad. So why? Well, first of all, we need to make sure 
that those ones are actually in W0. So we need to make sure that all those fk plus ones up to fn, they sort of annihilate our space W. But this just follows, if you want, from the definition of fk plus one, etc., etc. So note, what does fk plus one look like? V1, V2, dot, 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 uh, Vk, Vk plus one, dot, 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 Vn. So Fk plus one, it's one here, and then zero anywhere else. In particular, it's zero at the first k vectors. You note, uh, Fk plus one, equals zero on v1, v2, dot, 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 vn, vk. In particular, remember those things, there were a basis for w. So because fk plus one is zero on all those vectors, fk plus one is zero on all of w. And if you want, let me show this. So if w is in w, then because this is a basis for W, W is A1V1 plus dot 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 plus AKVK. So FK plus one of W, it's FK plus one of that. A1V1 plus dot 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 plus AKVK. And that's A1 FK plus one, V1, plus dot 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 plus ak fk plus one vk but we just said fk plus one is zero on all those vectors so this is zero the second one is zero all those ones are zero so this is zero in particular fk plus one equals zero on all for any arbitrary vector in w so fk plus one annihilates w so it is in W naught. So FK plus one is in W naught. And in fact, there was nothing special about K plus one. Notice the same thing is true for FK plus two. What does FK plus two look like? Well, here it's one. But it's still true that it's zero at the first k vectors. So, in particular, also fk plus two. It's in w naught, and in fact, all of them are. So it's important that we really, really started at this vk plus one. All right, so this settles at least the fact that we have a subset of w naught, then, well, the question is, why is this linearly independent? Well, the bigger set is linearly independent because it's a basis. Fn is linearly independent because, again, yeah, it's a basis for your uh, dual space. And lastly, why does it span? And the proof is kind of neat. Suppose f is in uh, an arbitrary element in W0. Well, W0, it's a subset of V star. So f is in V star. And remember, there was this very nice representation formula for any functionals in, uh, in V star. And again, that's what makes that dual basis so great. Then, to calculate f of x, that equals to the sum from i from 1 to n of f of vi times fi of x. So in other words, it's very easy to decompose f as a sum of linear functionals, but look, that is true for every f in V star. Now, 
If f is in w naught, we know that f of w equals zero for every w in w. In particular, remember we had this basis, v1 up to vk. Well, it's a basis of w, so each vector is in w. In particular, f of v1 equals zero, f of v2 equals zero, dot, 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 f of vk equals zero. So in particular, this sum is just f of v1 times f1 of x plus f of v2 times f2 of x plus dot, 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 plus f of vk, fk of x, plus other terms, f of vk plus 1, fk plus 1 of x, dot, 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 plus f of vn, fn of x. That's what this sum means, and the point is, all those terms here, we just said they cancel out, they just disappear. So really what you're left with is the sum of the k plus 1 up to n terms. So that equals to the sum from i equals to k plus 1 up to n of f of vi and then fi of x. But this is really, so in other words, uh, f, well, f is the sum from i from k plus 1 up to n of f of vi, fi. But this thing, that's just an arbitrary constant, it's in the span of fk plus 1 up to fn, which is precisely what we wanted to show. We wanted to show that the span of this set, it's precisely w naught. And what we've done is we picked an arbitrary element in w naught and showed that it's in the span. So in particular, we get what we have, the span of fk plus 1 up to fn equals w naught. And that's why this is a basis, because it's in the set, it's linearly independent and it spans, and because this is a basis, we actually get the dimensions that match. So it turns out, if you add the dimension of w and the dimension of w naught, you actually get the whole dimension of v. And next time, we'll see a really cool consequence of this, so stick around. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.